So a tough break for Jeff St. Peter, and the green flag flies, and racing is underway in the Manufacturer's Challenge. Ooh, look at Jack Flanley. He got a good start on the left-hand side of the screen there, Marty. On board with Scott Douglas. And as you can see, things have dried out quickly. It's amazing what sitting out the rest of the day will do. Oh, contact with Dave Hawkers as those two come together, and we've got an all kind of a jam up here into the first turn. What a difference a day makes. We've got dust now. Oh, holy mackerel, we sure do. Difficult for any driver in that to be able to see. There is first, second, and third, Jeff Dore, Kevin Probst, and third place is Jack Flannery. Oh, Flannery's got body parts flying all over the place. <laughs> he certainly got gotten to several guys getting up there, I'll guarantee it. And it is amazing how much faster these guys can go when they can get the power down to the ground instead of the mud. Jeff Dore, your leader, second place, Kevin Probst, Jack Flannery, third. Interesting to note, dry track, first three trucks, four-wheel drive. Scott Taylor is running fourth right now, but uh, let's see if he can pull up through the field. I think a four-wheel drive might have an advantage on this tight of track, Marty. Very tight and twisty through that section. Tropes trying to close in, but boy, how much can he see with all that dust flying? That makes it tough, let me tell you. You're always afraid that somebody's going to tip over in front of you. There is Scott Taylor in fourth place. And then Dave Hawkers, Kurt Leduc. Scott Douglas and Walker Evans finds himself back in eighth. It has not been a very good weekend for Walker Evans. No, this has been pretty much disastrous for Walker. He needs points too, Marty. Now that's Hawkers, LaDuke, and Scott Douglas. And it is LaDuke. A little contact with Hawkers pushes Hawkers off course, and he takes over the position. And boy, he loses about three positions with that. He did one little mistake on a dry track like this. These guys are good enough. They're going to come right by you. You just, you just can't make those kind of mistakes with these, these caliber of drivers. Well, I have a feeling, Ivan, that uh, Mr. Hawker is going to blame that on Mr. LeDuc more than his error. As we look at Jeff Dore and Kevin Probst running first and second, and Jack Flannery as we go on board trying to reel in these two. He's got a good line there. He does. Cut inside. Let's see if he can hold it. The big thing is to hold that tight line and just see if he can accelerate oh, it. Oh, there's contact between the two of them. So Probst and Flannery get together. And you can see some more damage on uh, Jack Flannery's Chevrolet. Oh, and Probst goes all the way around as Flannery takes second place. That's unusual for Kevin. I would, I would guess that he's got another, another kind of a mechanical problem in that truck. And that is Scott Taylor taking third. As you saw, Kevin Probst still trying to turn his Chevy around. Let's get another look at it, Ivan. Take us through it. Yeah, it looks like uh, Jack just got underneath him. But I'm, I'm going to guess that see how sideways Kevin is. He's got, he's got some kind of a problem, I guess, Marty. So the contact is heavy, but both able to continue. And now Jack Flannery has reeled in Jeff Dore. So maybe he has solved those problems. He's got uh, the body panel there, as uh, that is Scott, Scott Douglas's Dodge trying to hold off Walker Evans. And Walker comes right up beside him. Boy, this is a great view. And he does. He holds off Walker Evans. Anytime you've got that big Dodge of Walker Evans behind you, you've, you've got problems. You better be doing some driving. And Walker tries the other side, not able to make it stick, as Douglas able to hold on to the position. There's about 25 years of off-road experience right there, Marty, that's just all over the back of Scott Douglas. Now that is the battle for, we think, uh, seventh place at this point. Stay with us. When we come back, we'll take you to the conclusion of the Manufacturer's Challenge at the Chevrolet Off-Road Challenge from Luxembourg, Wisconsin. Chevrolet Off-Road Challenge. I'm Marty Reed along with Ivan Stewart. Rick Johnson is in pit lane and this is the battle for the lead between Jeff Dore and Jack Flannery. Whoa, Dore going wide. Can Flannery duck under? Well, again, he's, he remembers that last move from earlier and he tried it again with Jeff and he kept trying to make it work. Now there is Scott Taylor. He is back in third place. That is lap traffic between he and the two leaders. You can hear Scott trying to get the power down. Just can't get that power down. Four-wheel drives have got the advantage. No doubt about it, Marty. Jeff Dore holding on. Now this is the battle for seventh. That's Walker Evans just out the left side of Scott Douglas's Dodge. These are a pair of Dodges going after each other, and Walker Evans makes the pass, but can he hold on to the position? Little contact. Yep, there goes a fender. <laughs> oh, great racing here, buddy. These guys, they got plenty of body panels. It's a good thing because they are going after each other. Remember, this is just for bragging rights. There are no points involved, and they put on a great show for the fans, and this is a drag race down that straightaway. And again, Scott Douglas gets back around Walker Evans. He is not going to be intimidated by Walker. That's great. I love to see it. Look at the balance of these two trucks as they come barreling around on board with Jack Flannery. That's Jeff Dore now right in front of him. We've got two great battles going on. This one's for the lead. That is Hawkers, Dave Hawkers in front, and he is a lap down 
if these two get around. This could play this could play a big part of Jack getting around uh, Jeff Doerr here. It looks like he's going to get around the outside, buddy. And all of a sudden, you see clear track, which would lead you to believe that you're absolutely right, Ivan. There is Jack Flannery in front of Jeff Doerr. The old master uses the lap traffic to take advantage of Jeff, Jeff Doerr there to work for him. John Conitzer now a lap vehicle as Jack Flannery coming around uh, John and making the pass. And Jeff Doerr, as John moves over nicely, does the right thing uh, to let those guys continue their race. And coming out of the mist of the dust is Scott Taylor. He's in third. You can hear the engine rev up. This was real critical for a driver in two-wheel drive to barely mash that throttle down, get as much track as you can. Real frustrating. Hard to come off those corners and get the power down when the track is getting so slick out there. We are on the white flag lap. So Jack Flannery, who had problems in class four, looks to be the man to beat here in the Manufacturer's Challenge. Look at all the body panels. I can't believe the amount of body panels that are torn up in this. This is an awful tight track, though, Lord. It's one of the reasons. It's just, just uh, hard to get by each other. Back to that battle with Scott Douglas and Walker Evans. Where is Scott? We're out back. Uh, Scott Douglas has gotten back around. Walker Evans, you're looking out the back of Walker's Dodge. And are we going to see, yes, yeah, Scott Douglas goes wide and Walker ducks underneath. So these two still going after each other. It looks like he blew it there. He got out wide. He's pretty hard to do. When you get that far behind Walker Evans, Walker's got a clear field now. Really going to be tough to get it there for, for Scott Douglas. Remember, this is a battle for position. Well back from the leaders as the two-wheel guys have just not had enough uh, to work with against the four-wheel drive vehicles. And there is Jack Flannery as he continues to lead by about five truck lengths over Jeff Doerr. Now, he's lost about 300 pounds of weight, I believe, Mark, with all the body pedals gone. So that's an 1,100-pound uh, weight loss since the, the Class 4 race when he had all that mud up underneath. But Jack Flannery, your winner, and whoa, look at the top of the screen. There is Scott Douglas. So Scott not going to make it to the finish line as he breaks just on the last lap. Stay with us when we come back. We'll talk to our winner at the Chevrolet Off-Road Challenge. Well, let's take a look at the final results here at the Chevrolet Off-Road Challenge. Behind Jack Flannery, Jeff Doerr, and Scott Taylor, Steve Kelly and Walker Evans rounded out the top five. Then there is six through ten. Let's go down to victory lane. Ivan's with our winner. For Jack Flannery, I got to tell you, that's one of the best races, if not the best race I've ever seen in off-road racing. What a, what a fantastic job. Yeah, it, it truly was. It was, you know, I worked my heart out for that one. And I, like I said there a second ago, I dedicated this one to my crew because they have literally changed this truck from uh, motor all the way through the drivetrain, all the way back. And uh, you can have the best tires in the world like Goodyear and the best trucks in the world like Chevrolet, but if you don't have a good crew, I just can't get in this winter circle. Did you get frustrated at all? You, you played uh, Jeff Dorf, I thought, extremely well. You're patient you waited for traffic and you played him were you frustrated at all or did you ever start taking, thinking about taking a chance maybe you shouldn't have well no he was running a hard enough pace where I thought I was running about all I could I, I figured one or the other would break but that wasn't happening and I was just trying to run him in the ground and maybe stir him up a little bit there in front of me and I was just waiting for waiting for that right time and when I seen him tucking behind that guy I took my chance went around wide being a four wheel drive and I knew that one in front of him was an eight and uh, it worked out today maybe tomorrow it won't well, it is amazing how much fun the sport of off-road racing can be when the sun comes out and you've got a dry track to race on it. You saw one of the great manufacturer challenge races of all time.